the OA Dynasty Forum. Here at OA Dynasty Forum, we talk about the process that is involved on every journey to success, and we're there to lead all day. Expect to be informed, transformed, and blessed as you come on this journey with us. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the journey. journey. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to another episode of the OA Dynasty Forum. My name is Tolu. And my name is Anthony. And we are seizing the moment <laughs> to capture um, some of the lessons that we learned. Uh, we're currently in uh, Montreal uh, yeah. on vacation and so we visited um, the, muse the Royal Museum. I'll get the correct name. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Museum of Fine Arts in um, in Montreal, and so you know we went there yesterday. It was a very lovely you know time. Um, I think it's one of the oldest in North America. If I'm not, and the largest. Yes. It, yeah, it has like five buildings you know connected, connected to together, each other underground. Underground, right? Chai. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we took some pictures and we, of course we're going to be showing that you know, throughout this episode but basically um, of course as you all know that our channel is basically about you know the process behind every success so whatever we're going to say you know on our channel we are kind of you know it has to be around the theme of our you know of our channel yeah so we came up with some lessons that we learned and we don't want to forget so we're like okay we need to shoot this video yeah. right 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 now yeah like she said this this channel is all about talking about the process involved in, uh, in what we call success actually we visited a number of places but yeah. uh something stood out for us at this museum and we thought it's worthwhile to share with you guys and uh, for those who are with us for the first time welcome to the <laughs> channel please uh subscribe just to get you know subscribe and you get uh, updates whenever we upload more videos on our channel and for those who have who have been with us since the beginning then we talk to you guys keep supporting we really enjoy your support and yeah. we appreciate it we do. you know thank you very thank much you. so we go right into the lessons that we learned when we were at the museum today. so what was the first lesson you learned all right so we decided to register for a tour like a guided tour yeah. and um, the lady that took us on the tour um jackie um for me one of the things that stood out to me was that because they had told us that this particular the tour guide would take us to their own interests so yeah. they have the, the at liberty to take us to wherever they want to take us in the museum so this tour guide you know one of the places that she took us actually on the fourth floor uh, of one of the buildings uh, we saw you know the story of um the children of israel you know the bed of jesus you know mary and all that and you know she was quoting the bible and i was like oh really in montreal <laughs> like yeah. for me it was really good because she was able to you know th th these are interests so nobody can crucify her for that so one of the lessons i've learned you know i learned is that you know we should not be afraid to showcase our faith you know when there's opportunity to do so we shouldn't be afraid to do that right and if i was so fascinating because you know when she was talking about the israelites and moses leading and because there was a particular heart i would try to show the picture of you know where moses you know one of the artists um that kind of captured that and you know my son zion was like yes i know the story and she was like oh really yes tell us the story you know and she told you know and he, zion told the story of you know of the children of israel and how he led you know um of how moses led the children of israel through the rest of life. I, I thought that was really fascinating yeah i mean it was so fascinating because uh, the the beginning and the end of the story was just captured in one art piece yes i mean that was mind-blowing for yeah. me you know and uh, like she said uh, to tour the whole museum would take you maybe about I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because, <laughs> because we didn't finish touring. <laughs> we just we did maybe two and a half buildings and, and we had to stop because we were so tired and exhausted. So one of the key lessons that I learned from that tour is that um, the evidence of the birth and the restoration of Jesus Christ is undeniable. You cannot dispute it. The work of art dated to, you know, some of those art you can't even, you know, you yeah. can't even know the date and things like that captured what actually transpired mm. so if you are still out there questioning yeah, is there something called jesus uh, did he really come did he die history captured it history captured it and it's in a museum yeah and they are right there at the museum yeah. so it, they are undeniable fact about mm. the birth and the life and the resurrection of jesus christ so that was my in fact that was the height of the lessons that i learned at the museum 
here so um so another thing that i wanted to say was that you know jackie the lady that took us on tour you know, when we finished i asked that you know how long i should been doing this she was like well i'm originally from liverpool and I started doing this when I retired. I was after like, retirement. So after retirement, she took a training course to be a tour guide. Tour guide. So for me, it was just like, well, so there's never an end to learning, right? So don't, so there's really no hide that you reach and like, okay, I'm done, done, done. No, like, you know, yeah. and I'm sure this is so, you know, it's also important to start to, to there's never an end to when you start to do something that you really enjoy doing, yeah. right? Because of course, with the way she, you know, she, you know, was explaining the stuff, you know, yeah. that she really, really enjoyed enjoy what do we actually been doing it for 15 years so you can imagine 15 years after retirement wow that was fancy one thing just to corroborate the first lesson you learned is that she had the liberty to take us to anywhere, anywhere. of our choice yeah at the museum and where she took us to nobody could question exactly she took us to the places that really interest her and these yeah. are the places that speak about our faith as, yeah, a, Christian. as a Christian I, I, I'm just, you know, yeah. your, your opinions, your interests are valid. You know, you get, you see Christian get to an environment and they're quiet. I don't want people to know that I'm a Christian. Your opinions are valid. Mm. If you don't believe it, then no one, no one else is going to believe what you believe. Mm. You know, it's just an encouragement for, for someone out there. For me to see that in Montreal, mm -hmm. that's an encouragement for me. Yeah. That my opinion about my faith is valid, you know. And um, another thing is that, you know, in school, most people believe that anybody that goes to science class or engineering, they are the, you know, they are the yeah. important people in the science. <laughs> they are the smartest. Yeah, the smartest people in the science. Yeah, I got to learn otherwise, you know. These are people that, you know, specialize in hard work. Uh, yeah. And you, in fact, there was this story about a particular hard work that got sold for millions of dollars, you know. It, it doesn't matter if you're in science or you're in art, you're in commercial, you're in engineering, you're as important as any other person. So far, you focus on your skills and talent and make use the them judiciously. Yeah. You know, make the best out of yourself. Don't look at maybe someone is another profession is better than you. No, you too can make your work count. You can leave your history in the sand of time. You know, we, we saw that and, and I was like, no. This, yeah. is, this is very interesting. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and also one of the um, things that stood out to me so, one of the um, celebrated artists in that museum, Nicholas Party, but yeah. there was an exhibition done just for, for him. Just for him. I mean, yeah. it's just like he was born in 1980. So, what that's to say that you're never too young to make an impact, right? No, not because young. his work was put alongside, you know, those of the 1600s and all that, yeah. right? In the, you know, the 19th century, 20th century. So, so, so that mystery is still valid for us. You know, your work can still be put in a museum, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, so it's really, really important that, you know, yeah. you don't look down on yourself and think, well, would I still make something that would be of great impact? Yeah. Yes, if you if you put your mind at it and if you're excellent at it. Yeah, and creativity is the key. I mean, just, just be creative within your space. And you, mm -hmm. you don't know how the length your, your work can go, you know, just to uh, impact somebody. And another key lesson that I learned from my tour at the museum is that no matter where you are at life, there's always more. <laughs> there's this proof that when I was young, they would say, if a child has not gone to another person's farm, you think your father's farm is the biggest, you know. Uh, getting to know that a museum can be five big, massive buildings massive building. connected underground mm -hmm. is, an, is an important lesson for me to learn. Why? Because uh, sometimes I've, I've been to an, I've been to a museum before, and I saw I know this is the height of it. <laughs> now seeing this, this, you know, life is in levels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just know the level you are yeah. at that time, and aspire to go to the next level. There is always more to life, you know. There's always more to life. Another thing is that just be open-minded. Be ready to explore. Don't don't be blocked in your thinking. You know, some sometimes people are like, ah, no, I've I've learned enough. No, there's there's always more to learn about life. I learned a lot more about people, about their work. In fact, there are other people, there are other artwork that we're just getting to know about them. I just right at the museum, and it was mind blowing. Yeah. So be open to explore, you know, and be teachable, mm -hmm. be teachable, be teachable. Teachability is very important. And at the end of the day, you discover that 
adding knowledge to what you have will make you a better person. And someone said the day we stop learning mm -hmm. is the day we start dying. Mm -hmm. You know. So be open, be teachable, and be ready to explore. There's more, much more than what you have here in media society. Only if you are open to explore them. Yes. So we have <laughs> yeah. We've come to the end of this episode. We hope you learned a, a thing or two. And of course, if you ever you know stop by Montreal, please stop at by the uh, museum. The museum, I'm sure yeah. you're gonna be thrilled. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I mean we just pray for whoever is trying to find their balance, getting to know where they belong to in life. God will lead you, Amen. guide you into the right path where you will be impacted. Amen. And um, as you embark on that journey to success, God will prosper your ways for Amen. you. And God will make lines to fall for you in pleasant places. Amen. And like we said earlier, uh, those who are here to subscribe, this is the right time to do so. <laughs> Please do subscribe to our like, channel. Share, like, you know, comment. comment. And uh, we love you so much. And um, we'll see you in the next. We'll see you in the next.